functions of the stem primary functions the main function of the stem is to bear and support leaves flowers and fruits help in the upward conduction of water and minerals from root help in the downward conduction of manufactured food from leaves to the other parts of the plant secondary or special functions the secondary functions of the stem are storage of food for example potato and ginger vegetative propagation for example potato and rose it helps in photosynthesis for example opuntia the stem supports weak plants to climb as in passion flower it protects the plant from grazing animals for example curanta and lemon buds condensed stems observe the portion of the stem which shows the types of buds terminal buds terminal buds are at the tip of the stem they are responsible for the elongation of stem axillary bud axillary buds are at the axil of the leaf it produces branch or flower it is responsible for sideward growth comparison of stomata and lenticels observe the diagram carefully to find out the differences between lenticels and stomata the differences between lenticels and stomata are shown here in the form of a table stomata are found in young stems and leaves whereas lenticels are found in older stems guard cells are absent in stomata whereas they are present in lenticels stomata are open during the daytime whereas lenticels remain open all the time both stomata and lenticels perform exchange of gases and transpiration stem modification the various types of stem modifications have been tabulated here stems may be modified for other functions into aerial subaerial and underground modifications the modifications of aerial stems are stem tendril thorn phylloclade twiner and cladode the main modifications of subaerial stems are runner stolon sucker and offset The underground stems of different plants are modified into rhizome, tuber, bulb and corm. Underground stems. The modifications of underground stems of different plants are shown here. Rhizome of ginger. It is a thick prostrate and branched underground stem. it has distinct nodes and internodes adventitious roots of rhizome occur on the lower side axillary buds of rhizome arise on the axil of scaly leaves tuber of potato it is the swollen end of the underground branch eyes of potato are axillary buds with scar of the scale leaf eyes denote the position of nodes lenticels can be observed as raised spots on the tuber corm corm is a condensed stem growing vertically into the soil nodes and internodes of corm are not very distinct axillary buds grow into daughter corms adventitious roots are at the base bulb of onion it is a highly condensed stem adventitious roots arise from the base of the stem outer scale leaves are dry and protective inner scale leaves are fleshy and store food the diagram here shows the phylloclade of opuntia and cladode of asparagus which are modifications of aerial stems 
Philoclade of Opuntia. Stem are modified into flat, green and leaf-like structures which perform photosynthesis. Branches show unlimited growth made up of a number of nodes and internodes. Leaves are modified into spines to reduce transpiration. Cladode of Asparagus. Stems are modified into green and flat leaf-like structures for photosynthesis. Branches show limited growth and are made up of usually only one internode. Leaves are in the form of scale leaves to reduce transpiration. Potato plant showing tubers. Observe the potato plant showing lower branches growing tubers at their tips. Such branches tend to grow downward. The farmers cover these parts by soil.